From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Grant Lashot, and I'm here to bring you your Friday morning forecast on September 7th, 2018. As you look over our live shot from Nittany Valley this morning, you can't really see much, can you? Which is surprising considering the visibility is about seven miles out there. But the temperature is about 66 with a dew point of 66, so it's pretty humid out there still. But the change is on the way, I can promise you that, with a northeast, northeast wind at six miles an hour. As we look over our weather headlines for this weekend, we can see that the warmth and humidity will subside for the weekend, which is great. So we should be expected to have a cool down this weekend. And as of 5 a.m. this morning, Hurricane Florence had, been, had weakened into Tropical Storm Florence, but that is scheduled to change as her, Tropical Storm Florence is supposed to change back into a major hurricane. And we're supposed to look out for a potential washout on Sunday as the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon make their way into the Commonwealth. So as we look over temperatures right now for most of Pennsylvania, we can see that mid-60s is pretty much the deal for this morning with 66 in State College, 66 in Johnstown, 66 in Dubois. We have a few warmer cities here with Allentown in Pennsylvania and even Harrisburg at 72, 73, and 74. As you look over temperatures for most of the northeast, we can see that change is on the way. We have these colder temperatures up here in the northern northeast, Burlington, Vermont at 55, Syracuse, New York at 59, and even Portland, Maine at 59. So as we look over to dew points for most of the Commonwealth, we can see that it is still pretty humid out there with humidities and, sorry, with dew points in the mid-60s still, and so that's still pretty humid. So as we look over the radar for most of Pennsylvania, we can see that we do actually have some rain out here north of Pittsburgh and west of State College, some scattered light rain also north of State College and west of Williamsport. But other than that, the Commonwealth looks to remain dry, and these rain chances really should not impact anyone in any massive form. So as we look over to the future weather for tomorrow, we can see that, for this afternoon rather, we can see this could be mostly cloudy today with the chances for showers pretty much increasing south of State College throughout the afternoon and overnight hours with even Adams and York County seeing heavier rain early Saturday morning. So as we progress the timeline into Saturday afternoon, we can see our rain chances south of State College pretty much increase throughout the day and Pittsburgh especially, these rain chances are gonna increase southwest to northeast through the entire state and into the afternoon and evening hours, we're gonna see that the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon start to make their way into the Commonwealth. So as we look into the future weather temperatures, we're gonna to see today, we're gonna to make it to about 79, 80 in State College, but for the rest of the state, it's gonna be relatively warmer out there with 83 down in Harrisburg, 82 in Philadelphia, and even 78 in Scranton. So as we progress into the overnight hours and into early Saturday morning, we can see here's our temperature change. We got 63 in State College, a 57 up here in Bradford, which is pretty cool. And we have a 72 even in Philadelphia and a 58 in Scranton. So those warmer temperatures, those, sorry, those, rather those cooler temperatures are on their way. And as we progress into Saturday, we're gonna see we're gonna barely make it to a high of 70 here in State College. And for most of the state, we're even gonna make it into the lower 70s with Philadelphia really being the only warmer city in Pennsylvania. So as we progress into Sunday morning, we can see Wow, these lows are starting to get low out here. They're starting to feel like fall again. We got 53 out here in State College, 54 in Bradford, and 51 up in Bradford. Sorry, 54 in Bedford. And we still even have a 67 down in Philadelphia. So as we look over into our overnight temperatures, we can see it to be about 63 here with partly cloudy skies and a northeast wind at five miles an hour. As we look at temperatures tomorrow and conditions tomorrow, we can see it's gonna be overcast with a high temperature of 70 and a northeast wind at six miles an hour. And tomorrow, of course, is game day at Pittsburgh at 8 p.m., but unfortunately for the Nittany Lions, it looks like it's gonna be a wet one out there with cooler temperatures, especially as the game progresses. At kickoff, we're thinking it's gonna be raining with a, high of six, with a temperature of about 61 degrees, and by halftime in the fourth quarter, those temperatures will get below 60 at about 58 and 57 with more rain as the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon again make their way into Pennsylvania. So it will be a wet one out there for the Nittany Lions, but Again, it is going to be, and it is going to be on the cooler side. As we look into our seven-day forecast, we can see that despite today, we're, we are going to have a cool down going into the weekend, with those rain chances increasing until about Monday or Tuesday, and then we're going to warm up again into um, later next week, and that will will get those summer-like temperatures again that we've seen for most of September. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Grant Lashot. Have a fantastic weekend and enjoy the football game tomorrow.